Kristaps Dišlērs pēc uzvaras pār Spartak. Treneri, lūdzu jūs komentārs par spēli. Jā, esam ļoti priecīgi ar uzvaru noteikti šīs dienas spēlē. Gatavojamies smagi viņai, jo zinājumi, ka Spartakam individuāli ļoti spēcīgi spēlētāji ir tehniski. Domājot par viņu sastāvu, zinājumi, ka ir kaut kādas pozīcijas, kur varbūt tas, kāds spēlētājs nav un kur varētu būt tas mīnus saspēles ziņā tieši komandas. Es sanācu, Sanāca tā, ka viņi bija labāk saspēlušies, kā mēs šodien. Teiksim, godīgi, pat kaut ko stāstīt pa spēlu laikam īsti negribas, jo baigi svarīgi, ja tie trīs punkti bija. Tāpēc arī spēles kvalitāte noteikti, ka bija tāds šūpols līdz golam no sākuma, ko arī viņi iesit savos vārtos. Ja tas gols nebūtu bijis, vai mēs būtu vēl kādi iesituši, nezinu, jo pašā spēles sākumā nevarējām būt dabūt vārtos. Un arī, protams, ka šodien pavilka Sergejs diezgan daudz un arī mums paveicās, jo viņi ļoti labas epizodes nerealizēja. Par pirmo puslē gribas pajautāt, sanāk, ka izskatījās, ka jūs tā kā speciāli spēlējāt ar otro numuru, vai tāds bija uzstādījums vai vienkārši Spartaks pārņēma iniciatīvu? Spēles sākumi jā, apskatīties, vai viņi mūs presingos, mēs noteikti negribējām iet augstā presingā. Bet pēc pirmā gola jau redzējām, ka varbūt tās aizsardzībā viņi sāka ar garu piespēlt, un mēs arī sākām iet augstāk, bet, kā jau es teicu, par to, ka viņi šodien spēles kvalitātes ziņā saspēles komandu kā tāda bija pirmajā puslaikā daudz labāk kā mēs. Šogad sanāk trīs no trīs uzvarēt spēles pret Spartaku. Ko vispār var teikt par pretnieku komandu, kā viņi ir mainījusies līdz ar tām treneru maiņām un kāpēc varbūt jums tas labvēlīgais rezultāts vienmēr atnācis? Es domāju, ka tīri rakstur spēles ir visas trīs ir bijušas, kad mums ir stabila tas komandas kodols, kas nav kārtīgi mainījies, teiksim tā, kā viņiem varbūt tas tur spēlētāji kaut kādā aizgāja jaunie projām, jaunie kaut kādā vietā nāk, bet tie ir tāda otrā plāna. Tīri, es domāju, ka raksturs, netur spēļu kvalitātes ziņā, ne pirmā, ne otrā, pirmā ar trešo spēlu pilnīgi identiski viņas ir i pēc rezultāti, i pēc spēles. Es domāju, ka puiši vienkārši līdz galvām spēlē un arī, teiksim tā, ka to uzvar arī izcīna. Un par tagad ceturto aplī vēl gribas pajautāt, piekritīs, ka tagad jums tāds pats svarīgākais spēlēks? Posms, neskatoties to, ka vēl diezgan daudz spēles, bet nākošās spēles pret tuvākajiem konkurentiem un beigās tieši pret top 4 sanāk iekrīt un vēl pret Spartaka beigās. Piektīs, ka tagad varbūt ir tas tieši svarīgākais. Protams, kā es teicu, pirms līdz izvalsts slogiem tagad, teiksim tā, līdz izvalsts pauzē, kad šīs te trīs spēles mums ir pa lielam tas svarīgākās, un kurās arī ir jāņem maksimāli punkti katrā spēlē, lai nepielaist teiksim tā, desmito, devīto vietu savu tuvāku, lai mēs būtu tādā vieglā drošībā varbūt tās, jo punktus visi ņem šo sezonu vēl, un es domāju, ka līdz sezonas beigām neviem brīdi nevarēsim atslāpt, tāpēc šis posms mums ir, ceturtā apļa sākums ir tāds pats svarīgākais tagad. Paldies. Jā, paldies. Jūrmals Spartak galvenais treners Viktors Basadra pēc zaudējuma tokumam. Coach, please, your comment about the game. Jā. Bad game in general, a few times not so bad, and worse the scoring is a more simple summary. Uh, I want to ask about uh, Marcus Salpens. You changed him, and uh, do you agree that after that uh, game changed a little bit? Uh, it was a tactical uh, reason, no. or he had injury? No, it's not a question about injury. It was my decision, of course. Uh, in this case, uh, it's true that he didn't, didn't training. Uh, Last six days, he didn't train five times, only only one, the day before game. He was suffering uh, problems uh, with the uh, injury, um, but uh, it was not the reason, of course, uh, in this case. Yeah, um, I think that uh, this change, with uh, if we speak only about one player, don't change a lot about the dynamic because before also we was uh, we were losing a lot of balls, and we, even he was losing a lot a lot of balls. So. Not change too much the dynamic of the actions. Even we had, I think, the most clear chances we had when Krangman is goes in the pitch. He had two clear and one more in the head with Leo. And in this moment that the the game goes goes more crazy, up and down, up and down. Any time we had clear chances and also they had clear chances. 
So maybe the, the, the game changed about the dynamic, but not because we changed one player, also in the second change, uh, in the second mo moment when we put in the pitch uh, Ostapenko and we play with second, with two forwards. I think that um, not much things changed. Only we concede in, in one action, I think three, four corners in the same ball, in the same action. And it's the same that we concede the last game here. And we lost by corner also in that moment. It's a question about uh, the power we have in a few areas, uh, one of them is in duels, uh, one of them is in, in the action one against one, and we are not strong, so because this we are suffering um, a lot of uh, moments, bad moments in the games, and for sure for that we, we lost. And uh, from a tactical point of view, you think you played a good game today? No, no good game, no good game, but no worse than opponents. It's the same, we don't play a good game, but it's impossible to play good, for, well, first maybe we need to 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 check what is the meaning of good, yeah. But uh, about the, the game, I think we play in, in the same level, more or less, than than opponents. Yes, in this case today, uh, we had our moments. They had uh, their moments. Even in a few moments uh, after draw, uh, I think we, we more or less at the, until the first half and the first 20 minutes, maybe for second half, I think we were more or less comfortable with the with the dynamic of the game. We didn't suffer in defense. We had a few chances in attack. We had a few corners, a few fouls. Mm, so I think that um, only small details about uh, conditions or about the skills or about uh, uh, the, the, the power we have uh, made the difference in this moment. And uh, I want to ask about two players that uh, didn't play today, Alexander Solovios. What is the uh, situation with him and also uh, Denis Melnik, a uh, mid midfielder? Solovios, uh, he has got injured uh, in the knee. Last game he needed to be changed and also this game changed when he was out of the pitch. So uh, I don't want, I'm not a doctor for sure, and we don't have now the, the, the last uh, uh, results, but uh, I expect that will be not so good uh, injury. Uh, now he was even checking and uh, speaking with him, he said that uh, he thinks that he, he, he missed the rest of the season. Yeah. So for us, it's a big pain for sure, and for sure, from the point of view from him, from the health, also, it's not uh, not easy injury just now. Eh? Mm -hmm. And the other one, sorry? Oh. And uh, Dennis Melnix. Uh, Dennis Me Melnix. Oh, oh. The, no, about this, uh, this guy is, in, is also coming back from injury. Yeah? yeah. So until now, he never he never uh, worked with us in the group. So because these these players, and I think that we have one or two more that they are injured also and they are in recovering process. But um, I'd say a few times, I need to focus on the players we have, yes. This week we had one or two players on trials and maybe the trainings, we could training with more players, seven against seven, eight against eight, but this is the level we had until now. And maybe before it was a bit worse. Circumstance, circumstance we need to work any time. And this circumstance, of course, you, never, you cannot see in the pitch here. We are 11 against 11 and seems, everything seems that it's in more balance, yes. But of course, how, how you arrive to the pitch in the games is a consequence about how you are training. And of course, uh, we are not training in the best conditions about number of players until now, by injuries and sometimes the last game by cards, we, we couldn't uh, count with everybody. And of course, if, if our level is not so strong and even you are missing players, of course, step by step, you are a bit, uh, a bit less uh, strong. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you.